Uh, now, there's some huge news coming out of Nottingham Forest today as it was revealed. This is bonkers that the club have upped their season ticket prices for next season. The fans are not happy at all. Joining us now for more on this is Andy Goodell of the Nottingham Forest Supporters Club. Hello, Andy. How are you? Hi, Andy. Hi, uh, hi, Andy. I'm, uh, I'm fine, thank you. Thank it's you. The uh, supporters trust. No, not that I'm trying to split hairs, but there is a supporters club, oh, and they probably can only happy for me to say I'm representing them. So, supporters trust. Okay, I can only apologise for that. Uh, listen, what is important is the fact that we get um, all these um, new ticket prices out and talk about how disgusting it is. Yeah. Because I really feel for the fans here, because I can understand if a ticket goes up 2% or 3 I, I get that, right? But I've got in front of me, you can correct me again if I'm wrong, but I've got the, the, the top season ticket of Forest from 660 is going up to 850 um, That's the, right. The cheapest from 460 to 550 And kids, which I think is absolutely disgusting, 90 to £190. Is that right? Yeah, it is right. All of that's right. And here's an even more stark one for you. If you're an 18 year old kid sitting in, you just talked about that 850 pounds um, part of the ground. There's a couple of parts opposite each other in the in the uh, pizza table. Stand in the blind club. Stand on the other side. Uh, if you're sat in there at the moment, uh, this season you'd be paying 190 pounds if you're 18. Next season, 850. Oh, say, sorry, say that again. Say that again. How much was it? Yeah, well, it's worth saying again, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, um, so, uh, if you're sat in um, the central section of the two ground side stands um, and you're 18 or 19, because of the fact that they've removed the age restriction, or rather changed the age restriction, if you're an 18-year-old or a 19-year-old, you're now paying full adult price. So in the current season, 23-24, you're paying £190 for your ticket. Next season, £850. OK, I mean, th that's disgusting. That needs to change. Um, have the club come out with an official statement and explained exactly why the increases have been so drastic? Yeah, OK. So my understanding is the official statement refers to something you guys will be aware of, but maybe not all listeners will be, which is this um, future, you know, th this future squad cost ratio, isn't it? It's uh, going to be taking uh, the position of PSR from this season 25-26. And what that means is that clubs will be allowed to pay, uh, spend rather a proportion of their total revenue based on, um, uh, yeah. so I think it starts at 90% uh, of the, you can you can spend that on team and, man, and first team manager. And so the justification has been because of that, we need to increase revenue in all areas. But let's look at what we're actually going to be doing. The, it's difficult to calculate it exactly, but most calculations are that these price increases that the club have imposed uh, will um, get between two and three million pounds of additional revenue in a season. And you guys will know that compares with, for a club at, at Forest's <coughs> level, towards the bottom end of the Premier League, about 130 million pounds per season in revenue from media. Two or three million. So you're thinking in, in, in therefore in one season, two or three million pounds doesn't sound uh like a great deal but what if that's another two or three million pounds additional next year and the year after that and it builds and it builds i ask myself what's the direction of travel on this where are we going and what's happening to have you heard the term legacy fans that's something that we're hearing a lot at the moment isn't it legacy fans what's a legacy fan somebody's been going for a long time mm. are these people trying to be priced out is that what's happening are we wanting tourist fans <laughs> instead who are prepared to pay more money I think it's happening across football. It's not just Forest. Yeah. Sure, Andy, uh, can I can I ask you? Obviously, look, we we can we can tell that the uh, the hikes that the the club are proposing are are drastic. How competitive are the prices now compared to other teams in and around you? Perhaps the bottom half of the yeah, of the of the Premier League. Are you cheaper than than most of those? Yeah, we are. It's a very good question, and it is it's, it's certainly worth raising that. And um, yeah, we we are, Andy. We are cheaper. Um, and I believe this, um, I haven't seen the um, the exercise, but I believe that this new pricing can put us more in like, like the modal sort of pricing. So, you know, look, we, we did a big, at the Trust, we did a big review of our members and indeed other fans. And, and most fans were prepared to see price increases. Indeed, price increases a bit above inflation. Mm -hmm. I think inflation was reported today at 3.2%. People are saying 5%, some were even saying up to 10%. On average, this is a heck of a lot more. I've got numbers here. I think on average, adults about 18%, seniors 18%, youth 50%, children 40 But within that, there are some really, really extreme price increases. 
we've had emails in from senior members in particular, from people who have been going to the to the club, some really heartrending, honestly, really heartrending emails from people saying, I've been going to Forest for 40 years and I've got to stop. I can't afford it. Listen, let, let me ask you, though, I'm going to play devil's advocate here, right? Um, we all know that yeah. Forrest received uh, a four-point deduction earlier in the season. That was due to breaking financial fair play rules after breaching a threshold by around about 35, I think it was 34 and a half million pounds. It was. If you had the option as a football fan, let's say you as a Forrest fan, to to have the ticket prices frozen, but Forrest have to receive a points deduction for breaking financial fair play, or... The, the tickets go up, they're hiked up so much that that allows them to not breach these thresholds. What would the outcome be? What would you prefer? Well, I, I prefer the former, I'm afraid, but I'm not sure I'd represent all Forest fans on that, but I prefer the former because um, attending football is critically important for a lot of people. It's a really central part to, to their lives. You know, the, the, the listening uh, audience you have on on your program, I'm sure a lot of them are going to be football fans. Talk Sport does a great um, a great job around promoting football for ordinary people. Um, and if you're pricing those people out, but saying, "Oh, it's okay," you've got uh, new fans that are coming in. And listen, I'm not against new fans. That's great; they're welcome, but not at the exclusion of the people who've been going a long time. Yeah. Um, you know, there are people who can afford this price increase, whatever. It would have renewed yesterday. Lots of people did that. People I know did that straight away, mm. but. The average person can't can't do this. my own ticket. Uh, I've two cars myself. And my wife sit together in in that stand I talked to you about. We're not right in the mm. centre of it towards one end. Five hundred and fifty pounds up to seven hundred pounds. One hundred and fifty pounds additional each. Now, mm. for a lot of people, that's a lot of money. It is no, Andy. Look, what's been the reaction from most of the fans that you speak to that that you know? Yeah. Okay. So the reaction, honestly. I haven't heard a single voice anywhere. And let me tell you what by that I mean. From WhatsApp messages I'm getting, I've spoken to a few people. Um, and then for the supporters trust on uh, on X, uh, Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, the emails we've received in, honestly, Andy, not a single one, not one is supporting this level of price increase. Nobody at all. Mm. If I can use a football analogy, in my view, the club have scored a major own goal. And mm. if you don't mind my going on for a moment, let's have a look at what the context of that is right now for our club. We've got five games left. What do we need? I don't know if you guys have been to the city grounds in the last couple of seasons. But oh, I have, yeah, been a good few times. I mean, the atmosphere there is as good as anywhere. You don't need, that's great. You don't need me to tell you, Andy. Look, I'm a bit biased. I'm a Forest fan, but the febrile nature of the support what we've had in the last couple of seasons has helped our club. Yeah, We're not the best football team in, in the Premier League. Everybody knows that. But we drew with Manchester City last season. We beat Liverpool. We beat Manchester United earlier this season. How did that happen? You don't need to mention that one. All right. pitch, but of course it was. And it was the coach as well, whether it was Nuno or Steve Cooper previously. It was those things. But it was also that 12th man. It was those fans screaming their club on. And you know what? This has just happened. What's the atmosphere going to be like so, when we play? So Andy, let, let, let me ask you, what's the plan now? Their protests? What, what's going to happen next? Uh, good, good question, right? So the, there's um, the fan advisory board. I mean, you'd be aware of that. All Premier League clubs have to have a fan advisory board. Um, our representative um, on the fan advisory board chairs that uh, body, and they've requested an urgent meeting with the club. They're also meeting separately, and the club haven't been invited to that. And uh, they will be discussing um, next steps. The next step is to speak to the club and say, what do you think? Do, are you happy with this reaction? Well, clearly, they're not going to be happy with the reaction, but what are you going to do? Yeah. I'll tell you one more thing, which I think is really important. What if we get relegated? And that's quite possible, isn't it? What if we get relegated? What happens to the price now? It's exactly the same. Yeah, but that's no, why they've announced it now, yeah. right? Right, that's right. And you know what else they've done rather cynically? Um, you've got to renew before the last game of the season, otherwise you might lose your seat. So we go to the last game of the season away at Burnley ha and we might have to win that. Haven't they announced as well, I'm sure I've got this right, that there are like 11,000 people on a waiting list? Yeah, thanks for that. That's a great segue. They have. And do you know what I think about that? I think that implies a threat. So you're one of these people thinking, can I afford it? Yeah, I agree. Wait until after the end of the season. No, it's all right. We've got 11,000 yeah. people on the, on the, on the, um, on the waiting list. Can they... Uh, you know, will they step in? Of course, some of them will. But I tell you what, that waiting list went, went to 10,000 before they announced these price increases. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if some of those people on that waiting list are now looking at those prices and saying, 
maybe I can't afford yeah. it. And I'm certainly not going to afford the, it. The, the, the problem is, I agree with everything you've said, Addy. The problem is, sadly, there will always be someone there willing will. to pay. That's that is it. That's yeah. that's the problem we've all got as football fans. That it's all very well saying that's a disgrace, and it is. Some of the prices here in front of me. I mean, the cheapest kids ticket going from ninety to one ninety is absolutely disgusting, more than doubled. Yeah. But there will be a parent that pays that, and 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 sadly, yeah. you know, it it the, the normal man, the normal woman on the street can't really afford to go to football now. It's crazy. It is terrible. I mean, look, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I would have paid that, but um, you know, that, am I normal? No, I don't think I am. It's not. It, it's. It, I want to see everybody at, at, at you know at mm. the club. You know what? You use the word fans. Then I love. I love hearing that fans. That's what we should all be. You know what? A lot of people are thinking uh, customers, not fans. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, listen, Andy, thank you so much for coming on. A real pleasure. I hope Thanks this sorts itself. I hope there's a middle ground. I hope that, you, you know, the fans and the club can come to some kind of agreement and everyone walks away happy. Sincerely hope so. Yeah. Thanks for coming Thanks, on, Andy. There you go, Andy Cadell, as I mentioned, not in the Forest Supporters Club. Um, I mean, You're right. Do you know when you just said that, what you just said there, Andy, is so true. And I bet it's like anything in life. There will always be someone else out there that's willing to, for, for Premier to stump League, it up. For Premier League, for they, lower league football, make championship as well, but leagues one and two. You know, there's there's empty seats, yeah. but there will always, sadly, there will always be someone waiting in line to pay that money. And you've got to have people like Andy and these supporters, uh, uh, supporters club trusts, etc., and these groups. You've got to have people that are going to try and just say, oh, "Hold on a minute," and and, and mm. potentially have a word with the powers that be at the clubs. But ninety to one ninety for kids is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, that 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 just seems ludicrous, doesn't it? It really does. It's just a preposterous. But, but you know what? Hike. But also. It's not just football. That's the world we live in. I mean, you look at your energy bills now. I don't. I don't want to bring people down too much. No. But everything's gone everything's, skyrocketed, right? Everything's gone nuts. Yeah, everything's gone absolutely. It really does. Uh, my fee, by the way, exactly the same. All right, costs you absolutely nothing to listen to Talk Sport, and that includes tonight. You get both of those games for free on Talk Sport live commentary of Arsenal against Bayern Munich away, of course, at the Allianz, and on Talk Sport two for free live commentary of Man City against Real Madrid. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.